Hello everyone, this is Adrian and today I'll be teaching you how to create a basic movie poster in Adobe Photoshop CC 2015. So let's get started. First of all, we have two images here. We have this image and we have this image. Let's begin by blending these images. So let's crop this. You can press C on your keyboard or just press the select the crop tool. Move it a bit here. We are using the rule of thirds so and here like so then you need to bring this image down here and blend it in so how do you do that you select that control all on your keyboard control c to copy control v to paste it then control t to free transform it then you have to hold shift while you reduce its size until down here like so now we need to select just a portion we are going to get rid of here so we use our rectangular marquee tool make sure that layer is selected drag and select a small portion of it mask that layer oh sorry sorry before you mask it before you select it you need to mask it so let's mask that layer then let's make a selection then select a soft edged brush or you can press B or select the brush tool make sure you have um, you have the the foreground as black and that we, we, we the, the mask is selected not the image select the mask and then start painting on it first we shall start painting with a full opacity of 100 like so then as we reach the leaves we are going to reduce the opacity to about 50% like so and ladies and gentlemen we have a successful blend I'm liking where we headed control D to deselect like so then apply the layer mask then you have to blend these images the two images by pressing control E to merge control Z so I need you to see that again with the top layer selected, press Ctrl plus E, like so. Good. Double click on this background to unlock it. Click OK. Now we're going to select. Uh, we're going to create a vector pattern based on some squares here. So we are going to. How do you create a square? Yeah, you have to select your rectangle tool or your shape layer, or press U on your keyboard. So. Let's create uh, a background layer. To create a layer below this one, select it, hold control, click on the new layer button, like so. Fill this with white, shift F5 to fill. Or you can come here and select edit, fill. Select white, click OK. Hide this layer. Now we're going to create a series of squares above this layer per se so select the rectangle tool hold shift to create a square and drag like so now we need to duplicate this but we do not need to duplicate the layer itself we just need to duplicate the square so how do we do that you have to select your selective selecting tool path selection tool or pressing a do not use the direct selection tool, just use the path selection tool, trust me on that. Then click on the square, hold alt and drag. Like so. As you can see, we've created another square within the same vector shape without duplicating that layer. So to do the continue with creating more squares by dragging up, make sure they are aligned. Nudge, select, align. You you can use the align tool or 
make sure align edges is selected so let's keep creating more squares more and more squares Now we'll need to create another layer on top of this, a different layer, because you're going to use a clipping mask on that. So before we do that, let's add some more squares. Hold Alt and drag down like so. where this one is going drag this here uh, or rather let's delete this Now we, we need to create another background or uh, another vector based layer. So we need to make sure none of these layers is selected by clicking outside here. Then let's select the rectangle tool again and draw by holding shift. Sorry, control Z. shift and drag make sure that new square is the same proportion like the same pro has the same proportions as this one as these other squares so you can hold control and use the lower arrow to align it or you can just use the align controls on top here I think in my opinion it's too small let's zoom in Control T. Let's try and increase width here. Good. Now let's duplicate that using the same method we we we, we used the other one. Hold, Alt, and drag. I'm liking where what we've the effect we've made so far. Zoom out. Let's have another one here. Alt and drag. Like so. Now with the new shape layer, we need to have an adjustment mode, which is black and white. Let's create a new adjustment layer. Select black and white. Then we need to cl create a clipping mask, so hold Alt, that will appear, click, and we have a, uh, we have an adjustment, 
sorry sorry that was that's color balance sorry let's delete this new adjustment layer black and white then let's make sure we are holding alt then click on that like so and voila as you can see we already have a difference in this two layers so we need to isolate our image and make sure it gets into the squares how do we do that make sure it's above this layer duplicate of that image hide the one on top with this selected hold alt to create a clipping mask as you can see we have that layer there selected that, uh, that layer well what how do you call this clipped in our vector layer so let's have this selected and go above our rectangle layer and voila so as you can see we already have it it's already created a clipping mask that's it the good thing le le let me add a le one more square here by holding one more square by holding alt and pulling it down like so so that we can have her lips i'm loving what you've created so far this is awesome splendid as the french would say <laughs> sorry i'm getting quite excited all right now with that selected we need to crop so you can either select the crop tool or click here and drag like so now let's add a few layers uh, uh not a few layers sorry i'm pretty cranky and sleepy i ha had a pretty long day let's zoom in and crop that so here good now let's add some text t on your keyboard or you can select the text tool increase the size to about 27 we will always restructure it anyway then let's write oppressed let's sample a little bit of her hair here so that we have matching colors then control T to free transform that I am loving this effect then select the move tool by pressing V on your keyboard or just selecting it just apply the transformation then let's move it here Then we are going to add a few more text in the squares. So let's. First of all, I don't like how this looks like. Control Z. I need it to be a bit bold. Let's go to character. If you don't have this character button here, you can come to Windows, and select character. Then with the, the, our, our text layer selected, click on this button here. And select hoax bold as you can see it's it's already become bold so control T and let's push it in here so let's add so let, let's let's have some fun and add some actors names in the black squares per se we're going to use white for that so select the, 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 the text tool by pressing T then here we go. Let's type Anna Anna T. Change it to white. Control T. Uh, 
let's press enter to have that down uh, let's make this all caps ah tina like sorry reduce size to about duplicate that control J select the move tool and let's move this here let's change this color to another color preferable this so with the text we selected let's change the color to this sorry I don't like it there for sale let's move that frame there to the white square here done let's write Johnny beer I love beer like so so we can play around with this by having some bit of typography so let's uh, let's remove this click this let's make this a little bit bigger to about 16 or you can just type in 16 then font tool selected let's write op Then let's change the font illumination. Oh no. Let's undo that quick. Select uh, vertical type tool. Like so. Let's write up. Like that. Let's reduce the size to about 16 again. move this here like so uh, ladies and gentlemen I think we're just about done so the move tool selected press control and use lower arrow to move the string in font tool select that and move it up that's it ladies and gentlemen I am so tired I had a long day I think I'm, I will have to call it a night so let's save this by pressing file save as movie poster JPEG save open and we can save it also as a PSD
that is that for now if you need any more tutorials or you have any other questions you can ask me in the comment section below thank you